a startup, and so they have, they've got a funding of uh, three hundred twenty thousand for that. Yeah. Yes, we're ready for the ring of fire question. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> as you may know, uh, last week a report was issued that gave both the provincial government and federal government failing grades about their uh, their role in uh, making the ring of fire happen. Would you like to respond to that, please? Well, look, uh, you know, there's uh, there's two things that have to happen before <coughs> ring of fire can uh, take off. Uh, and I will talk about the federal, what we've been doing in the meantime. But two things you need, uh, I would say, in order of precedence. First thing is you need the economic conditions so that um, private sector mining companies can feel confident that uh, when they start to invest in Ring of Fire, there'll be a return on their investment. And as you know, the mining sector has not been propitious for that for the last few years, not because of anything we've done in Canada, but because of world economic conditions. So when people say you've not done enough for the Ring of Fire, you know, we need a willing partner in the private sector ready to go all in. And that will happen. That will happen. We, we, you know, the cycle has to turn a little bit. Second thing you need, and this is more uh, out of our control at the federal level, is you need the uh, organization that controls the natural resource to have a working relationship with the First Nations communities so that they can have a, uh, an understanding of economic success that works for both. And of course, when I mention the organization that controls the natural resource, I'm talking about the province. Because uh, in the province of Ontario, they're the crown. So um, those two things do have to happen before we get success. Uh, and I'm sure, that, I'm sure the Chamber understands that. What I will say, though, is meanwhile, the federal government has been active. You know, and we have been helping to build capacity on reserve, which again is, a, is an appropriate field of activity for the federal government, increased capacity in terms of training, uh, in terms of uh, governance, so that they can deal with the complex issues associated with Ring of Fire. So I think that that's an investment well worth making as a lead up to when the economic factors are in, are in alignment for future activity. So that's my, like Greg Rickford knows this, this file, Seven Ways to Sunday. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, would, I would defer and refer to him, but my, um, my assessment of the situation of the former Fed Norm Minister, Minister responsible for Ring of Fire uh, initially, is that you need to have those things aligned, and I'm sure the Chamber is, is very well aware of this, in order to proceed. The, the horse before the cart would be province and federal government ready to pr proceed when the market conditions do not exist and when the agreement with the First Nations does not exist, that would not be a wise approach, I would, I would argue. Just, just one follow-up, because I don't think the situation is as dire as the Chamber's made it out to be. Yeah. Last month, there was a joint announcement between the province and the feds for $750,000 for a community uh, access route. Yeah. Uh, are, can, we, can we expect more funding from the feds in future along those lines? Yeah, I mean, and, and Frank, you made, made a good point. I mean, I, I guess we're trying to say the same thing. You know, we are investing, uh, and we do have to uh, await for conditions to improve economically in the world mining sector. But in the meantime, we will keep pursuing. As uh, those were announcements made at PDAC. At PDAC, right? yeah. And uh, Gravel was there with yeah. with Greg, and, and uh, it showed an area of uh, of cooperation with the provincial government, which has not been yeah. across the board on everything, but on that thing. Yeah. Uh, definitely we're working together so uh, I think that that's a good sign and hopefully send out a good signal to the prospectors and developers we're you know look we're, we're, we've had a shakedown in, in the mining sector we know that uh, I've been reading reports that things are you know the the kind of the economic structure has is starting to change uh, which uh, which means that uh, the big guys are, are are going downstream a little bit to, uh, to uh, create the right conditions for prospecting to keep happening. Uh, so I think that's a good positive sign for the future as well. Thank you.